and they're going to tell us a little bit about their work. Maria? Good evening. I'm Maria Silvaggi. I'm president right now of the Reading Public Library Foundation, Inc., and I'm here with our vice president, Elise Serigna, and with our former president, Bill Hecht. I want to thank RCTV for this wonderful opportunity, and I also want to thank the citizens of Reading for their support. We feel deep gratitude for the loyal support of the Reading citizens to our foundation. Reading Public Foundation was established almost 20 years ago to enhance library services. In fact, our mission, and I am quoting, is to expand library collections, programming, and services to the community. We do it through an endowment, and I'm sure that Bill will tell you much more about that as we go along. Our funds do not in any way replace or substitute for the funds which the town in its responsibility to support library services is supposed to raise through the taxes. However, <clears throat> our funds are intended and have been used to enrich the outstanding Reading Public Library and their services. We provide addi additional resources and we provide materials. And I think Elise will speak to that. And so, I'll turn it over. <laughs> there you go, Elise. Thank you very much. Thank you, Maria. Um, so yes, uh, we're not just about collecting funds um, and maintaining them for long-term health. Bill will speak to that a little bit. Um, Maria mentioned that we make funds available or we use funds for other purposes. One of the things we do is we help um, fund things that can't be covered in any other way through town funds. Um, one example is the computer, uh, computer lab, which was funded by the foundation. Another example is the large print books. Those were funded by the foundation. Um, in addition, and things like summer, the children's summer reading programs, and in collaboration with the Friends um, and the trustees, we've also sponsored um, author speaking programs. Um, another thing we do is once a year, we do make a gift to the library, a significant gift, um, so that the librarians and the library can use those funds um, for things they may need that, again, can't be covered any other way. For example, furniture, sometimes professional development for, for the librarians. Um, it depends, but we try to, we try to give back, obviously, because these funds are for all of us as well as for the library. We, as you can hear, uh, exist for the long-term benefit of the library, and we've chosen as opposed to sort of the friends who give an annual gift to the library to accumulate an endowment. An endowment essentially is a large investment uh, and we prudently invest them and generate funds from the, uh, those earnings. And we've actually had very good success. We've accumulated between gifts and earnings on the investments over $1.1 million. Uh, we've actually had superb volunteer efforts. There's only one part-time paid employee. All of the rest of us are volunteers. And we've had wise counsel from three exceptional Reading residents, Nelson Burbank, Bernie Horn, and Ray Couture. What we do is to accept gifts, uh, obviously outright cash gifts, appreciated assets. Uh, many times an individual may be in the fortuitous position of having stock or bonds that have appreciated largely and uh, they can actually escape the capital gains tax by giving those funds to giving those appreciated securities directly to the uh, library we also have a charitable gift annuity program which uh, essentially enables a person with assets who wants income but can give up the assets to receive an income stream over a number of years and finally uh, we have a few people who've mentioned uh, the Reading Public Library Foundation in our will. As I say, we've uh, benefited from the gifts and the wise investments of our investment committee, and our whole purpose is to, as Elise said, ensure that those special things that take Reading's very good public library to a very great public library uh, can be afforded outside the town budget. Uh, pictures on the screen now of our uh, library that the uh, re the current uh, print release station and the computer system that uh, has been 
available and also our summer programs for children. Uh, thank you. Um, how can people find out more about your organization and how they can donate or uh, find more information? We, we have a superb website. Uh, there it is. Uh, and uh, please feel free to use it. Uh, you can donate through the foundation. As you can see, we have a very prominent red button that says donate now. Uh, so click on that button. Uh, we are able to accept gifts by credit card. And as I said, we're also uh, interested in people who wish to benefit the library long term, either by uh, appreciated securities or gifts of will. So contact us through the, through the efforts of the, uh, through the website, and it, one of us will be certainly glad to come back and talk with you personally. We can even introduce you to a few volunteers who have given outright uh, charitable gift annuities and are benefiting from it. As you can see on the screen now, there's a superb picture of this, the new library, which will be up and running, we hope, um, about a little over a year from now. Uh, we also do an annual, um, an, an annual um, um, mailing. mailing. So Thank you, sweetheart. Right. <laughs> <laughs> lost the word, but haven't lost the idea of the annual mailing, which is um, a, a wonderful way also of our contacting the uh, community and letting them know sort of what we're about that year. Um, we have had good success from that. We have many, many donors who uh, traditionally send us a check or contact us and we're happy to um, get back to them, and, and we're starting to uh, make individual calls to say thank you for your attention to us and for your donations. So uh, we're anxious to hear from people, and we're happy to deal with them and to talk to them if they need us to talk to them. As you can see, we're very friendly. Um, I just, I just want to mention one thing, and that is that to access our website, you can go through the Reading Public Library website, and there is a Dropbox um, about the foundation, and that's where you want to go to access our website. Fantastic. Thank you all for coming tonight. Uh, we look you. forward to seeing more projects from you in the future.